how do we solve work problems involving three or more people? All right, so almost the same as uh, in the previous videos with uh, two people working on a job. Um, but we just have to make a little tweaking on sa ating equation. So remember that our equation when we have two people working on uh, the same job is 1 over t sub 1 plus 1 over t sub 2 equals 1 over t. Now, this only works for two people. Now, what about three or four? So, what we're going to do is, th is just we're just going to add uh, a new uh, term. So, that will be 1 over t sub 1 plus 1 over t sub 2 plus 1 over t sub 3 for three people and so on. Okay, so it depends on how many people are working on a specific job. So that's it. Now let's have an example. Say we have this example right here. So Jane, Paul, and Peter can finish painting the fence in two hours. If Jane does the job alone, she can finish it in five hours. If Paul does the job alone, he can finish it in six hours. How long will it take for Peter to finish the job alone? Let's take note of the numbers that we can see. So we have here, Jane, Paul, and Peter can finish the painting, uh, finish painting the fence in two hours. That means if they work together, if the three of them will work together, they can finish it in two hours. Okay? Which means that our big T, this one, is equal to two hours because that's the total if they, if they work all, uh, the three of them work together. Okay? So we know that we have here 1 over 2 again. Why? Because the three of them work together and they can finish it in two hours. Okay? Now Jane uh, does the job alone in five hours. So if T sub 1 is Jane's time, then we have 1 over 5. Plus, Paul does the job alone in six hours. So if T sub 2 is for Paul's time, then we have 1 over 6. Plus, how long will it take for Peter to finish the job alone? Right. So if T sub 3 is Peter's time, then what we have is 1 over P, where P stands for Peter. Okay. And now we have an equation to solve. So again, let's, let me move uh, this equation over here. So again, all we need to do is get rid of the denominators. We're going to multiply both sides by 5, by 6, and by p. Same goes to the right-hand side. Multiply by 5, by 6, and by p. So what we'll have is we're going to distribute all uh, uh, these factors to our terms. Okay? So we'll have 5 times 6 times p over 5 plus 5 times 6 times p over 6 plus 5 times 6 times p over p equals 5 times 6 times p over 2. And then we'll cancel out whatever we can cancel. So we can cancel 5, we can cancel 6, p, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, so we can cancel that out and write 3. So we'll have what? We'll have 6p plus 5p plus 5 times 6 is 30 equals 5 times 3 is 15p. And then we can combine the like terms. We can combine all the terms with p. So we'll have 6p plus 5p and then move this one over to the left side. We'll have minus 15p equals... And then the positive 30 goes to the right side, becomes negative 30. Okay. Now let me erase this one so I can have more space. Okay. So I'll have what? So 6p, oops, sorry. 6p plus 5p is 11p minus 15p is negative 4p equals negative 30. So to isolate P, we divide both sides by negative 4, negative 4, 
cancel out what we're left with is p equals 30 divided by 4 which is equal to 15 divided by 2 so that would be the time for peter 15 divided by 2 hours hours okay so that would be seven and a half hours okay so that's that's seven and a half hours for peter to do the job alone 